So let's go ahead and do a full speed comparison for the most part between an iPhone 10 on iOS 16 and an iPhone 11 on iOS 16. Now the iPhone 11 is on the right, the iPhone 10 is on the left. All the apps should be not cleared out in the background. Well, I guess they're cleared out now. So let's get into it. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. And I totally butchered the first one already. So we are already off to a bad start. Music, three, two, one. iPhone 10 was faster iPhone 11, a little bit behind, very interesting. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one. And the iPhone 11 was faster there. Let's go and click into the very first panel right here. Kind of loaded the same exact thing, so let's go and kind of scroll down over here. Let's see if there's any differences. Kind of getting the same vibe between both. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's do clock, three, two, one. About the same. Let's do books, three, two, one. iPhone 11 faster, iPhone 10 a little bit behind. So we're kind of seeing a good thing, the iPhone 11 being faster, which is always good to see. Stocks, three, two, one. And two different panels, so we'll just get this one off to this panel and we'll go and hop out. Let's go and get into photos, three, two, one. Kind of about the same thing. I'm not really too sure if there's that big of a difference. Camera, three, two, one. Okay, that kind of covers up that one. Let's go and get into weather. Let's do reminders, three, two, one. Okay, let's go and hop out of this one. As always, we have a bunch of these third-party applications we can go and test out. So let's do Snapchat, three, two, one. iPhone 11 faster, iPhone 10 a little bit behind. Let's go and get to do some of these third-party apps. I don't even know where all these are on these phones. It's Facebook, three, two, one. A little glitch on the iPhone 10, not a big deal, but something to keep in mind. Twitter, three, two, one. iPhone 11 is the faster one there. Dropbox, three, two, one iPhone 10 was very fast compared to the iPhone 11 there. Let's go and do Snake First Block, three, two, one. iPhone 11 was faster, iPhone 10 a little bit behind. Quizlet, three, two, one. iPhone 11 was the faster one there too. Thank you, three, two, one. iPhone 10. It's a little bit slower than the iPhone 11. That one was actually a pretty big noticeable difference, to be honest. Netflix, three, two, one. iPhone 11 is the faster one. iPhone 10, a little bit behind again, no problem. Temple run two, three, two, one. And this is what's expected. This is iOS 16. So we're kind of past these phones prime. So it's very interesting to me that the iPhone 11 is still performing this well. Battery life wise, the iPhone 11 wasn't really beating the iPhone 10, which was crazy to me. But as of right now, at least in terms of speed, I'm glad the iPhone 10, I'm glad the iPhone 11 is being fast, but the iPhone 10 is still a pretty fast phone for the most part. But you can see there was quite a bit of a difference, even though the iPhone 10 did have a little bit of a different panel when popping up. So that's probably one thing to keep in mind, hopping out of this one. Let's kind of see what else. I mean, those are pretty much the main applications I wanted to test. We do have some of these larger applications. So I will, so we can try Call of Duty Mobile 321. But I think for the most part, we kind of have a consensus. A phone like the iPhone 10 is, I think, still a pretty fast phone for the most part. But I do think the iPhone 11 is kind of shining on, I, on iOS 16 in terms of performance. And I think this is a weird trade off. The iPhone 11 is better in terms of performance and speed and opening than the iPhone 10. But the iPhone X's battery life was substantially better on iOS 16. So that was a pretty crazy thing in my opinion. You can see where we're already on the loading panel and screen here. So I think now it's just probably like loading or logging in. With the iPhone 10, I think this is still a very, very fast phone, but I think we're starting to see a really, really big difference in terms of performance. And back in the day when this iPhone came out, I think it was still a fast phone, but now we're kind of we're kind of starting to seeing a really big difference in terms of performance. Maybe it's because of the performance chipsets, maybe it's because of the software, but even though the iPhone 11 is faster, I was getting better battery life from my iPhone 10. So I'm not 100% too sure what to make of that one, but that kind of covers up the speed comparison. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.